So how can you identify if your neck muscles are, are what's causing the problem? Uh, number one is just check your range of motion. Uh, try some basic movements. So if you try forward, you try backward, if you rotate, uh, if you side flex, side to side, if you look in a mirror or even, you know, just kind of feel to yourself, if something feels really tight or if something feels stiff, um, if you can see you're not moving as well in one direction, this can be a great clue that something involved in that motion is kind of bothering you. Number two, try the stretches that we discussed here tonight. Um, you know, again, these are the really, really common ones that I've picked for you today. Um, so we'll go through that one. And if you start there, if they're tough for you, it's worth working on kind of thing. It's um, if these are, you know, not painful, but if they're uncomfortable, stretchy, this is a good place to start. Um, number three, kind of poke yourself. I always tell people, you know your body best. I'm just the guy who took some school to uh, to help you kind of figure it out. So you're the one who can tell like, ah, oh, yeah, it just hurts like right here. Um, poke yourself where it hurts and then use a resource like the one I've linked here, triggerpoints.net. Um, and you can see if that kind of makes sense with what you're feeling. Um, sometimes muscles are tender and aren't referring pain. And this is kind of where as physios, we can help you tell the difference. But this website is a really cool resource. Um, I use it all the time with patients. Um, if I'm feeling stuck or if I'm just trying to validate what they're telling me, like, oh, it's like I have pain down my arm. I have pain here. It's like, is this what you mean? It's a really cool website that you can look up symptoms, but you can also, um, yeah, you can also just see kind of pain pictures and stuff. And you'll see some of these pictures in a second here. And if you look at those pictures and say like, yeah, that like that looks like what I feel, then you can probably start with something like that and see if it pays off for you. So let's look at some of those pictures. That's that's the next step. So first, that upper fiber traps. Um, this is, again, that muscle there. Commonly, the trigger points for people, and if you do it on yourself, if you kind of feel this like just above at the edge of the shoulder, so if I get a little closer to my camera, kind of right here before it gets bony, if you squeeze that, that's a typical trigger point. And it typically refers pain. People will complain to me kind of this side of the neck. I might feel a little bit up here or even just behind the eye, kind of like in that temple. That might actually be your trap muscle, even though it's not really attaching um, through there. Some people will even actually get jaw pain when they feel that, so right at the corner of the jaw. Uh, when I took my dry needling course, um, when I got needled there for the first time, I felt a tweak in my jaw right away. It was like, oh, super strange, not connected there, but right away I could feel kind of this release that just bang, like, there we go, that's some of that pain. So again, if you feel pain kind of behind that ears, down the back of the neck a little bit, in the jaw, or just behind your eyes, this might be one stretch to emphasize for yourself. Let's look at number two, the suboccipitals and those cervical erectors. So if you have suboccipital pain or pain coming from your suboccipitals, typically your pain is often this like just behind the eyes. Like it just always feels like it's back here. People often tell me like it feels like it's like deep. Like if you were to put like a rod through behind the eyes and that's where they're kind of feeling there. And if you think about that trick that I showed you where you're turning your eyes back and forth, of course there's a bit of an association there, right? So thinking about that, if you have a lot of pain that just feels like your eyes kind of aren't getting a rest, for you it's probably these little muscles at the back of your head. On the other hand, if your head or if your pain is more up on the back here, like more on the the skull up there that might actually be referring from the erectors and that would be just the long muscles along your spine there they typically are sending pain a little bit higher up and more just this vague back of the head pain so if you're if your pain is not right here at the base but more up here you're probably looking more at cervical erector pain and some flexion stretching and maybe some strength would be good for you there Number three, your temporalis. This one, people will typically complain of this, maybe this eyebrow pain or a lot of pain like in that fan shape, like you can see on the left side of the screen, kind of where that muscle is, people will feel this like, it's just always the side of my head. And then sometimes people, and I've seen this um, in clinic fairly often, people will complain of this like, this upper palate pain, like yeah, I think that roof of my mouth or my teeth hurt almost. And that can actually be, again, this temporalis referring there. So if you have this like vague toothache -y 
roof of your mouth pain, but you're really tender here when you touch, that is probably um, one for you that you may not have connected. Number four, back to this SCM muscle again. Um, like I said, there are two heads to this muscle. If you kind of look at that middle picture, that's more of that frontal on that sternal head. And then that rear one is more of the, what they call the clavicular head or more of the collarbone one. Um, but they both kind of wrap there and then just come up and attach. Um, with this pain, I find more people complain of ear pain and maybe this like higher forehead pain. I don't see as much of the, the right around the eye pain, but it is worth investigating. So for yourself, if you find that you're really tender kind of on the front of the neck, or if you try to stretch that I'll give you tonight, if you try that one, it's pretty stretchy. Um, it could be worth it for you. You can also try if you go just below the ear, if you poke kind of on the back, just down there and start working your way forward, some people will find that that is really, really tender right away. Um, but again, I see more of the picture on the right, that ear pain or just behind the ear um, with some top of the head pain. But yeah, honestly, it's been a while since somebody's really described it. It feels like somebody's you know putting a knife right through the top of my head kind of thing. So I see more of that right side one.